Welcome back world leaders to this World World Z playthrough with Greece. Now a lot has happened, a lot has changed in this part 5 of this series and I'm going to show you guys what has happened with myself, the coalition that I'm a part of, what research units I have, uh, and who I'm at war with, and our tactics that we have going forth. Looking at Greece, let's zoom out and you can see the progress uh, from our last video uh, of what was going on. So we can see that all of the Middle East is the entire coalition since it's under our control. We have uh, completely eradicated the zombies from the Middle East. Zoom out further, you can see that all of Africa is all eradicated of the zombies as well. Uh, we were just cleaning up some enemies and I'll get to that here in a sec. Uh, in Europe, we are clean of zombies. And then, and also in Asia, my allies of Italy and Finland Italy and the green villain and the blue have destroyed the zombies um, and now they're moving into Australia. There's a little bit of zombies in Australia. They've taken most of the island, but that's an island so we have nothing to worry about. Um, so that's where we're at. And then very lastly, if you look all the way across the Atlantic Ocean, our enemy of the South American coalition, we are at war with, all of us are fighting them. Uh, North America is just up for grabs. No enemies in here. Although Cuba has taken it, but I believe Cuba is a AI nation that has gone pretty strong and just taken over the entire United States. So let's circle back to Africa. And I want to update you guys on what has been happening in this continent. In our last video, I hadn't really shown much of what was going on. Um, but what happened was Kenya... The nation of Kenya had joined our coalition. He reached out to me and asked to join, and I asked the leader if he could, and he did. And at the time, all this green and yellow was zombie, actually. It was all black, all the way up to the Sahara Desert. So we worked together. Uh, Kenya pushed west, and I pushed north. And you can see I have some of this territory from zombies. And then these little cities here I kind of took from zombies as well and he did a good job pushing them out here. He actually turned on his allies, South America, I mean South Africa, sorry, and took over South Africa, and now he's cleaning up Nambia down here. And then as we go more up north, this is actually where I made most of my landfall closer to my home country. I was in Northern Africa, of Tunisia, Morocco, Algeria, these cities, these areas. Now, if you, are, if you guys are familiar with Operation Torch from War World 2, it's a very similar kind of plan. I just landed troops on multiple cities at multiple times with air support and naval support. And that's what I did. And a lot of this was zombies. Some of this was Moroccan uh, grabbed land, um, but it was all zombies. So I didn't really have to go to war with anyone, any active players at the time. But what I did is I just landed my level six infantry units with artillery. And then it has some anti-air I've already spread out my entire, here's another, here's an example of another unit. This was kind of my, my go-to stack for this game so far. Um, just trying it out with a very basic stack, no armored units, but with a ranged attack of artillery. I usually use rocket launchers, but I wanted to try out fully leveled out artillery to see how it's doing. And it's, it's doing pretty well so far. I do like kind of like how cheap it is and how well I can produce it. Now I got the level six infantry and then level four mobile anti-air vehicles support for a good air cover. So those were my units that I was using to land and that I've been using Corvettes only as my naval support. I actually have them up to level five. I wanted to try them out and try to level them up pretty far. I'm going to do level six to have cruise missile capabilities. Um, but I used multiple Corvettes on the northern coast and bombarded them and readied them and readied the cities for my units to attack. While that was happening, I also used my bombers, who are now level six, constantly bombing the cities, along with strike fighters every now and then, to uh, rid the zombies. And you have to remember, zombies are hard targets, so you wanna use units that are good against hard targets. That's how you get rid of them. You can use infantry, but they're gonna get eaten up a little bit. If you get your infantry up to level six, which will have the mortars, that'll be very ideal. You can attack them early. And if you have a, a decent sized ta uh, stack, maybe like three guys, that'll be good. So after I had taken North Africa, I started moving more west. You can see this blue area, this is all me. The yellow is Romania, who's my ally. Here was territory conquered by Venezuela. 
and Brazil and Colombia was a hodgepodge of different territories and I decided to go to war with them in Casablanca and these other cities down here and that started an all-out war with South America all my other allies started fighting them as well um, it wasn't much of a fight they didn't have many units I just used uh, some of my stacks here it's still the same stacks you got infantry artillery and the multiple mobile anti-air with some strike fighters and bombers helping out but my lead unit I did just, I did create a uh, an officer an army infantry officer level three and then with some more units and I called it the first Hellenic army fitting to the Greek uh, units that they have they ha actually have a unit called the Hellenic army and I wanted to be fitting for that and they have been my spear in Africa taking over lands and just completely decimating anyone in their path and I have them resting now they did a lot of work for me and now we're getting ready for our next attack which is South America so now let's go to South America and see what's going on. We have some recon from my from my ally, Italy, and it looks like he's already kicked the door in to Brazil, which is very, very good for us. And he turned one of their cities zombie, which we want to do. That's a tactic you can use in this game mode, is you can bombard cities, use spies. Spies will take a long time, but just keep bombarding until you get the so you get the morale down below in the 20s just keep doing it because the lower you get the stronger the zombies will get and then they're going to outbreak into the lands and that's what the idea is this is these zombies you're going to break in start taking more lands <laughs> it looks like it looks like italy just sent it and just sent these units in he's got a stack of level seven infantry and then one sam launcher but brazil's got some units here and it looks like there's a sub here but our plan is so far is we got to break in the door, which Italy's already done. But I am researching ballistic missile subs to really break down the door and destroy cities, destroy units, and it'll open up the door. But maybe we won't have to do that. Uh, we zoom in here and we see that Colombia is pretty well equipped. He's got some naval units, level five destroyers, and then he's got an officer of level five destroyers here. And he's got some units, only a little bit of infantry guarding, but doesn't mean he has more units here. We don't have any recon. He looks like he's got some high level cities going on almost. Yeah, yep, you can see here level five army base, uh, level four airport. So, yeah, it's not going to be an easy thing, guys. Um, it's going to be a little of a bloody fight, I think. I may go for Venezuela. He hasn't really conquered much land. We kicked him out of Africa, and this is all he has is his homeland and some cities up here in the Caribbean. So what I may do is send my ballistic subs around here, maybe hit Georgetown, port, not Port of Spain, but Georgetown or Caracas, the, the capital, completely destroy his morale, and then land troops uh, with some naval support, uh, bomber support, strike fighters, air superiority fighters. I had a few of those. And then I may land north to help out Italy because he's busy down here. That's the plan, I, I think, guys. And then R Romania, Finland, and Kenya are our other allies. And we're going to use them to invade South America together. But it looks like Italy's already kicked down the door, like I said. And we might be able to get in quickly. But opportunity may close soon. He's got several units here you can see on different routes. And I'm assuming it's... Oh, he's actually got pretty big stacks. He's got five five units in each stack of, of infantry, and that's actually pretty difficult to destroy unless you got some good units to hit those soft targets. So we might be able to really just land in Brazil and not have to worry about Venezuela uh, landing there. We could land in Brazil safely and then uh, move in that way, and that would be really easy for me because I'm have I'm much more land units stronger in this game. That's what I decided to do. I do have some uh, good units for Air Force, Navy, I'm not really focusing on as much. So let's look at the uh, research I have right now. Motorized infantry is at level six with the mortars. Again, no armored units. I've been trying that out. No armored units and it's been working, but we'll see what happens. And then I have towed artillery completely leveled out. And then mobile anti-air, not all the way level, just halfway. No helicopters. Strike fighters, I have them to level four. I did research the, the stealth strike fighter, the Nighthawk. And I'm going to start using that. 
uh, and then I only have level two air spray fighters. You don't want to spread yourself too thin with these research units. You want to have a balance. Um, I, I didn't do any naval really. I'm just doing a little bit. So really I'm just doing land and air force. Then I have heavy bombers all the way leveled out completely. I just have one more to do. Uh, and then I have level two, no, only level one, sorry, level one naval patrol aircraft. And then for my naval unit surface units, you guys may laugh, but I do have corvettes almost leveled out. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna have the uh, ability to launch missiles. I'm not gonna do anything else unless it calls for it. And then right now I'm researching the ballistic missile sub and that'll open up the door for me to use my ballistic missiles. I only have level one. I may level up possibly a little bit more, but not much needed because I have allies who can help. And then lastly for officers, I did level up my infantry officer to level one or level three to have that first Hellenic army, the tip of the spear of my entire force. So that's what's going on guys. That is the update. We're getting pretty close to winning this game. I think we have it uh, pretty well won. Um, now we could just take over land up here and win the game, but we're deciding to fight the active players and have a good ending to this game. So hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. Glad to answer them and hope you're enjoying the series. I'll talk to you next time.